Hi guys, it's Matt here at ESC Bubble and I'm so pleased to be joined by Isabella who's aiming to represent Ireland at this year's contest. Isabella, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Lovely to meet you, Matt. Oh, you too. Uh, how's your day been so far? It's been uh, it's been lovely. I was on radio here at Dublin FM and then uh, went and looked at the ocean for a bit. We had a reflective moment. <laughs> ah, so that sounds good. So, so where, whereabouts are you at, at the moment? I'm in Dublin at the moment, um, a little bit out of town, so um, it's nice in the countryside. Oh, fantastic. So is that whereabouts you, you're based in uh, Dublin? Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm staying at the moment, and then, um, but I live in Nashville full time. So. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. So, cool. so um, how long have you lived in uh, Nashville for? I've lived there for nearly three years now, so quite a bit of time. Oh, fantastic. Well, uh, congratulations on uh, potentially uh, getting to uh, represent Ireland. At, 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 thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, <laughs> how did it all uh, happen? Um, so I uh, submitted my this song that I wrote, um, I think, in October or something. It wasn't that long before I found out. Uh, and um, But we wrote the song a year and a half ago. Um, and then I was with one of the songwriters and... I was saying to her, because I'm a really big Eurovision fan, and I was explaining Eurovision to her, and she was like, oh, you know, I feel like that would be really fun to do. And then I was like, maybe Let Me let me Be The Fire would be a great song to send, because it just feels kind of Eurovision in itself. Yes. And that's that's kind of, we made the decision then, and then I sent it in and just hoped for the best, and then I got the call. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So tell us, uh, with uh, Let Me Be The Fire, what, what's the song about? Um, so the meaning behind it is actually quite a serious theme. Um, it's a lot about anxiety and depression. Um, it's about someone going through that um, and then, you know, someone being like, I've got you, I'm going to hold you through this kind of dark time. Um, I suffer with anxiety and um, and I also had a friend that was going through quite a hard time at the time we wrote it. And that I think when you suffer with anxiety or depression, it can feel really like scary to reach out to someone or can kind of feel overwhelming or that you don't want to come across as a burden and all those things. And this song is very much saying like, I, I have you, like I'm going to hold you through this and you know, I can hear you that you're going through something and yeah. So that was kind of the feeling. And then we made it into like a dance song. So. <laughs> 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 oh, fantastic. It's, it's a great yeah. message. And uh, for anyone at home that's um, struggling with anxiety, do you have any ad advice for them? I think that uh, it's always, if you can, important to, to talk about it. I, I mean, I'm, I go to therapy and that helps a lot. And there's a lot of resources. A therapy can feel really intimidating and also expensive. But in I think in each country, there's resources that you can go and talk to someone for not a lot of money, which really helps. Um, and also just to know that it's normal. And I feel like everyone goes through it and you're not alone in in having anxiety or depression. Like it's, you know, probably more people than you realize that suffer with it. So yeah. um, do you have any uh, singers that, that inspire you? Yes, I have many. Um, I feel like Tove Lo, I'm, I know I'm butchering her name, um, from Sweden. She's kind of like my icon as far as pop music. I think she writes the best pop music in the world, truly. Um, I also really like Sigrid, who's also from Northern Europe, so from uh, Norway. I think I'm, I'm really into Northern European pop music. I think there's something about it that feels really good. Brilliant. And you're saying that uh, you're really into Eurovision. Um, what, yes. Um, who would you say is like your favourite Eurovision artist? I definitely think Duncan Lawrence is my favourite. Um, I loved Salvador Sobral as well for Portugal. I thought that song was like crazy good. The, I was trying to think of his name the other day. I know it's Alex and I know he was Norway and he played the fiddle. Do you remember? It was like, I'm in oh, love. Yes. Fairy tale. Yeah. Uh, Alexander Ryback. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was obsessed with that song, even though it hurts. And they had like the backup singers that were like da, da. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I think I have a couple of moments that I've loved. But yeah, I thought Portugal's that year was like incredible. I thought he was crazy good. And then I think Duncan Lawrence was the first time where I thought, 
okay, like, you know, because he obviously came from a songwriting background, um, that it was, there was a real kind of like, oh, this is like some of the best pop songs in the world that are being put forward for this. So that's very cool. Yeah, definitely. But fantastic. Yeah. Right. Are you ready for a game over Never Have I Ever? Yes, I am. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you want to pick a number between 1 and 30, and then ask okay. a question from there. Uh, I'll do 17. 17. So never have I ever uh, been to Malmo. I have never been to Malmo. Ah, have, have you been to uh, Sweden? Never. Oh. Never been. I would love to go to Sweden, so uh, let's make it happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, should we go for another number? Yes. Uh, let's do lucky 13. Number 13. So what have we got for 13? Um, never have I ever screamed whilst watching a horror film. I have always screamed watching horror films. <laughs> <laughs> but they're my favourite genre. So oh my God. I like to I like the adrenaline yes. of them. I like to I like to scream them. <laughs> oh bless you. <laughs> What's your favourite uh, horror film? Uh I think I love Midsommar, which is ironically set in Sweden. Ah. Wow. That, I think it's my favourite. It's very weird and yeah. interesting. Right, let's go for another number. Okay, uh, 21. 21. Uh, never have I ever uh, started my own business? Never. No. If if you could do anything apart from singing, what what would you do? If I could do anything apart from singing, I'd probably go into therapy, I think. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, myself. I think I, I think I would find that very enjoyable and interesting. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. All right, let's go for another one. Okay. Um, uh, sixteen. That's my birthday number. Ah, uh, <laughs> never have I ever spent over five hundred euros on a night out. Definitely yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Tell us more. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of a time. I think I one time went to New York and we went uh, we went like gay clubbing there at this place. I can't even remember the name of it, but it was we started at like five PM and I was there to like nine AM the next oh day. <laughs> and, and I was just in a, such a good mood that I was like you're having free drinks. I'm buying you around. <laughs> it was like that kind of night. And I think I left and I'd spent like $800. Oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> it's wild. And I think it was just like, it was the night, you know, but it was worth it. Should we go for another one? Yes. Uh, three. Number three. Um, never have I ever crashed a party. Oh yeah, a hundred percent yes. <laughs> I've crashed many. I've done this. <laughs> I've done it a couple of times because in Australia we we have like terrace houses, yes. And you know it they'll some they'll have a house party and just have the door open and I've walked in with my friends and been like, oh, we're friends with John or whatever, and they're <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, come in. <laughs> but yes, I, I will always. I I love a party, especially a house party, and I, I'll happily crash any. <laughs> Can we go for one more? Is that right? Of course, please. <laughs> um, you pick this number. Oh God. Uh, okay, thirty-three. Never have I ever met my childhood hero. Ooh. Oh, childhood hero. No, no. I did meet Bono when oh, I was. Wow. Yes, and he. I had my autograph book. I guess at the time he was kind of my hero. So yeah, yeah. maybe. I had my little autograph book that all my cousins had signed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and he drew a little picture of me and I kept it. And then my mum like, what are you going to do with your autograph book? With, you know, his signature. And I was like seven and I was like, I'm going to sell it when I'm famous. So I'll make mm -hmm. double the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was already a businesswoman. <laughs> Unsentimental. <laughs> Oh, I love, I love that. That, that. That's a great story. 
Well, Isabella, it's been great talking to you today and um, wishing you the very best of luck. Uh, you, you've, you got, you've got a great song. It's, it's a song that really stands out, I think, with Ireland. They've had a lot of songs that have sort of been okay, but a bit bland, whereas with yourself, it, it's a song that really stands out. And yeah, I, lo I, I, I love the chorus as well. It's something you can really like dance to. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that's awesome. Thank you. So yeah, we're wishing you the very best of luck and fingers crossed we'll meet in uh, Malmo. Yes. Okay, awesome. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs>